Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showcasing what has become my latest favourite team to run in the game. I mean, don't get don't get afraid, don't worry for the Lobster God uh, Super 17, the Android team probably still will stay my favourite just for the uh, sentimental purposes, but this team is a lot of fun to run. So let us go over here, the new... I say new, I mean, technically only one unit is new, but hey, the new Pure Saiyans team for Global. So, obviously with the release of LR, Kale and Khalifla, the best unit in the game, <laughs> we've all heard the memes, but actually now having them and getting to play with them in the game, all I can say is the hype was justified. Like, they are absolutely ridiculous. Um, obviously, we are running double physical transforming Vegetas as the leader, so he has a 150% leader skill. So, not even the highest leader skill in terms of the attack that we can run a lot of these units on. Um, and we are going to see some absolutely ridiculous numbers from some of these units. So, we have LR Kale and Khalifla, of course. And then we have the Tech LR Broly. Um, here's a unit that I haven't really used a huge amount since I got him with the coins you guys might remember recently. I uh, finally got to 500 gold coins, so I made a poll on Twitter and let you guys decide which of the three LRs that were available to buy that I didn't have that I should get. And Tech Broly won. There were three options and Tech Broly got like 50% of the votes. So it was pretty safe to say that he was the clear winner. Um, and apart from doing the showcase video, like when I first had actually gotten him, I haven't really used him all that much. So... Especially because being at 55%, like for some of the events I was trying to do, like some of the no item runs and some of the harder things in the game, um, he is, his defense obviously leaves a lot to be desired. So I haven't used him a huge amount. But on this team, he is very, very good for a couple of reasons. Um, obviously, you know, pure Saiyans, perfect team to run him on. But LR, Kale and Khalifla, their links, they have a lot of key links, a lot of them. Uh, their only attack links are Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, and uh, Legendary Power, of course, because they are an LR. So, Tech LR Broly has Super Saiyan, he has Fierce Battle, and he has Legendary Power. So, he triggers all of their attack links, and of course, he does have Prepared for Battle. So, he does at least have one key link that he can share with them as well. So, they work incredibly well together on this team. Especially because Kale and Khalifla build up their key as part of their passive with each time they attack. So you get to a point where, because they are somewhat self-sufficient, you can worry about saving big clusters of orbs for Broly. And you're only going to need to grab a couple of orbs with the girls in order for them to actually get their 18 key super attack. Um, now obviously in the early stages, they are going to get hit more often than not as they build up their passive but then once they get their passive fully built up which requires them to attack uh, 11 times but then they will have a 66 percent chance to dodge which is pretty ridiculous when you consider that is like that is literally the equivalent of having level 66 dodge um very very good like basically two-thirds of a chance to dodge is insanely good on a unit like this especially when you then factor in that with both of their super attacks, their 12 key and their 18 key, they infinitely stack their defense. So even if they don't dodge, they're not going to take a huge amount of damage. Um, unfortunately, Turle is going to transform, so we do lose his support passive, which is the reason why he's on the team. But I guess it's good to get it out of the way early, because then we can see much later on in the event, once we get nearer to the end and we start firing off our active skills we're going to start seeing huge amounts of damage. So let's do, actually, yeah, let's put you in the front and grab those because that should connect those. Yep, there we go. Then we can get the 18 key super with Vegeta and then we will grab those with Turles. Um, not too worried about doing too much damage here because once he transforms into the Boo Piccolo, He's just going to start healing himself like crazy and get back to full health anyway. So don't need to worry too much about that. 
So the team build, of course, because it is a pure Saiyans team, it's, we're not maximizing uh, Kale and Khalifla. This isn't like a showcase for them. I haven't built the team specifically around maxing their passive to get the highest attack stat possible um, because they, of course, get 10% attack per Universe 6, Join Forces, or Pure Saiyans category ally on the team. Um, and those stack. So if you really want to run a Pure Saiyans team where you fully maximize Kale and Khalifla for as much as they can do, then obviously you want to bring other Kale and Khalifla units because they will trigger the Universe 6 and Pure Saiyans um, categories. And of course, if you manage to go whale mode and get multiple copies of LR Kale and Khalifla, their TUR is not only their best link partner, but also triggers all three of those specific categories. Um, so that is pretty ridiculous. Um, now obviously in this particular event, we are not fighting a universe survival saga or pure Saiyan enemy. So we aren't going to get their um, guaranteed additional supers. But they do get a... Is it guaranteed additional? Uh, let's just double check here. Each attack formed... Yeah, so they always get an additional normal attack, um, but they won't get the guaranteed additional supers. So we get this normal attack here, and then of course, if we're lucky, we get the additional from the Hidden Potential system. Um, but if you're fighting a Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans enemy, you get a guaranteed additional super. And if you're fighting both, you get two additional supers. So they are utterly insane. There is, They are called the best unit in the game for very good reason. And then of course we have Tech Broly, uh, one of the units who, obviously bearing in mind we don't have STR Cooler on Global yet, has probably some of the best summon animations available to us in the game at the moment for Global. Um, I, he's one of the reasons why I love the unit so much. Like, obviously he's great for what he does, but just the fact that he has such awesome super attack animations really, like, tips it over the top for just how good he is. So, let's grab those for you, and... Yeah, I guess we'll just grab. Well, I meant to, I misclicked there. I meant to get the physicals, but I guess it doesn't matter. He's going to be healing himself a fair amount in this phase anyway, so it's not like we're trying to take him out here as quickly as possible or anything like that. So now, when it comes to the other rotation and possibilities for different team builds, so I do not have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, running him on rotation with LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is obviously an insanely strong combination. Uh, it does mean you have to drop one of the support units and then have another one of the physical Vegetas floating. Um, and in that case, you're going to drop Turles because they both provide 40% attack and defense. Turles does give three key, whereas Broly and Paragus give two. But, I mean, that's you don't really need all of that extra key. It's one extra key. You, you'll be fine. Um, and the reason is twofold. First of all, Broly and Paragus are on the Join Forces category, so they are giving an extra 10% attack to Kale and Khalifla than Turles does. And then, of course, the situation that's happened here, Turles transformed, so isn't giving us our support passive. Because I would quite like to have uh, the ability to use that 40% buff here, but unfortunately, he transformed, and we are not going to get it. Um, we are also probably going to take Boo out because Kale and Khalifa are going to do so much damage. So we are going to go ahead and activate Broly here. Unfortunately, we don't have a support unit on the rotation. But you are still going to see some pretty crazy numbers here. Um, because, of course, his passive not only guarantees him 24 key. Um, it gives him a 48% attack buff that is applied after all of the links and everything like that. So bear in mind, this attack stat that you're going to see is this LR Broly with no dupes on a double 150 lead team. Because, um, yeah, this man puts out some serious numbers. So, Kale and Khalifla, 2.6 mil. I mean, considering they have one dupe and there's no support unit on rotation, that's still pretty good. Um, yeah, big damage to Boo. They get a crit on their guaranteed normal attack additional. And then there you go. There is the additional super from the Hidden Potential system. Um, because they can build up to a 66% chance to dodge, I didn't bother giving them 3 dodge with the only dupe that I have. Well, 4.7 mil. So, uh, they do have, what, 9 crit and 8 additional for me. So, that's very, very good. 3.6 million crit, okay. So, yeah, 
almost 5 million attack stat on Tech LR Broly with zero dupes in him. That is how insanely good he is. So there is the team. Um, I guess, like I said, we didn't really get a huge <laughs> amount of time to talk about the other rotation because everyone was just crushing it. But yeah, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is obviously very, very good. The other rotation is kind of, you know, you can kind of do what you want. Um, you obviously don't need to run Tech LR Broly either, but he is a very good unit and a very good support unit for Kalen Khalifla. Um, and of course, Transforming Vegeta is a very good unit and links very well with LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So having them as a rotation is very strong. But like I said, if you do have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well, I would definitely consider dropping Turles for him and running the two LR Super Saiyan 4s. And I mean, as you saw here, I deliberately did this boss rush because the Boo event is a bit longer than the other Dokkan events. And we still absolutely destroyed it with basically no effort. Didn't get to use... Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's active skill, our Vegeta didn't even get all the way up to God, let alone Super Saiyan Blue. So yeah, this team absolutely crushes it and I absolutely love it. So let me know what your build is for Pure Saiyans, even if you didn't pull Kale and Khalifla, what is the Pure Saiyan team that you run uh, when you do use them? Or if you don't really use them too much, just let me know what is the team you are currently having the most fun using. I'm interested to see in the comments down below. So. That is going to be it for the video guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, you can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord, the link is in the description below, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!